In this week's Accordance Mobile Minute, I want to demonstrate how to perform basic Hebrew and Greek word searches in Accordance Mobile. Beginning with a Hebrew text, let's say I want to search for the Hebrew word Eretz, the word for land or earth that occurs at the end of Genesis 1-1. As always, I would tap the search icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, if I know the English equivalent letters for Hebrew, I can just type those in. Most of the time, they're fairly phonetic. In this case, I know that A is Aleph and R is Resh. But if I didn't already know that X is used for Tzadi, because that might not be my logical first choice, I would be left with experimenting. Nevertheless, because I do know the letters, I can enter A, R, X, and immediately I have the results for Eretz occurring 2,505 times in the Hebrew Bible. However, a better solution is simply to use one of the iPad's built-in Unicode keyboards, Hebrew in this case. To do so, I can switch to the iPad settings, then General, and then Keyboard, and then Keyboards. If the Hebrew keyboard is not installed, I can select Add New Keyboard. Normally the Hebrew keyboard would be in the list under Other iPad Keyboards, but in my case it's listed under Suggested Keyboards because I recently removed it for this demonstration. So I add in the Hebrew keyboard, and now it shows up in my list. I can switch back to Accordance, and I can perform the same search again, this time using the Hebrew keyboard. I click on the international symbol, which will let me cycle through the keyboards I have installed. Note that the Hebrew keyboard does not contain the same mapping as earlier when I tried to use the English equivalents. Now using the Hebrew letters in front of me, I can easily select Aleph, Resh, and Sadi. I click Search, and I have the same results that I had earlier, 2,505 results. Now that's easy enough, but let me show you another way too. And let me switch to a Greek text for this demonstration. Let's say that I want to search for the Greek equivalent to the Hebrew word for earth in Genesis 1-1, the Greek word ge. Everything I just demonstrated in the Hebrew search applies here. I can type English equivalents from an English keyboard, or I can switch to a Greek keyboard. And yet there is still another way. If I press and hold the Greek word for earth in Genesis 1-1, the instant details for the word ge display. I have two options at the bottom, Search and Amplify. Here I am going to choose Search. Now I have four searches, Lemma, Inflected, Root, and Tag. Since I want to find every occurrence of Gay in the Septuagint, I am going to choose Lemma. And immediately I get 3,042 results, a considerable number higher than Eretz in the Hebrew Bible. But this is understandable since there are more books in the Greek Old Testament than in the Hebrew. In today's Accordance Mobile Minute, I only wanted to demonstrate basic searching. But keep in mind, however, that there are many more options available for your searches, such as morphological tags, search commands, and much more.